man, folks be so caught up in just trying to trying to keep it real all the time that, that they miss out on certain opportunities, man. See, I had to realize, like, I used to be that same type of way where I just wanted to keep it real and wanted to hang with, with certain people and, and didn't want to hang with, with this other guy because he might be corny or he might not be the type of person that, that we, we supposed to be kicking it with. But I had to grow up and understand that, man, you get a lot more information from different groups of people, people that ain't ain't the same type of person you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you got to understand that, like, it's a lot of hidden information out here, man, amongst other people. But since you just want to keep it real and you just think, oh, man, I, I got to do it this way. I want to get money with 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 my homeboys and all that. Like, man, yeah, it's cool to get money with your homeboys. And if you can do that, then that's cool. But a lot of the times, man, like a lot of stuff that I know I learned personally was from people that I probably wouldn't rock with outside of the information that I'm getting from them. But they did give me valuable information in it. And it's stuff that I need, man. I don't. I, it's, it's hard to put a value on on what somebody can teach you, but I do know you can definitely put a cap on if you're just sticking around the same type of people and don't want to grow. It's easy to put a cap on that because a lot of times, man, the people that you grew up around, um, you know, like they they can't give you no more information than than, than what you know already. So you see a lot of people, man, that you that, that you know could be doing more with life, but they so caught up in just trying to trying to hang with the same dudes every day. That don't mean you don't love them because you're going out and going to better yourself and to learn information. See, I was able to get out here, move to another state, get around other people, and now I'm able to to teach my homeboys what, I, what I've learned in my process of growth. But in order to grow, man, change is inevitable. Like you got to be able to change in certain situations, man, so you can you can grow, man. You know what I'm saying? It's it's no way around it. I know, I know like I had one of my homeboys hit me up and and when he seen that I bought a house, you know what I'm saying? Like like he know he know how to get money. You know what I'm saying? He got money, he getting money the street way, but he can only know what what he's taught, what he showed. He ain't get a chance to see this other side yet. So he hit me up and he told me, he was like, man, you know, when I seen that you bought that house, man, they motivated me to try to go buy a house myself. So he got the money. He, you know what I'm saying? He said he, he took 40 G's to the bank. Like, hey, man, you know, I want to get a house. I want to be able to buy a house. And he don't, what he didn't realize was it's more than just cash. Because growing up, we all know, like, you know, we, we, we taught that cash is king, but what you what you learn quickly when it's time to make them other no major moves that you want to make in life that is actually credit as king when when it's all said and done man it ain't much you can do with that so you might have a lot of street money a lot of street cash but it's stuff you got to put in other people's name because you can't verify your income that that that's stuff that you got to learn and, and it hit him like dang you know what i'm saying like i'm getting this money but but I can't really go ahead on and, and do this next level stuff because he ready to move to his next level. And like I told him, I said, bro, you can hit me up anytime. Like, that's what I'm here for, man. If you need information that I don't got, I mean, that you don't have, then you can hit me up. If I need information that you might have that's valuable to me, I'm going to hit you up. See, like, folks be so caught up in, in trying to not... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Let somebody in on what they're doing, man, and, and, and the moves that they're making that that they really miss on the opportunities themselves, man. And it's it's bigger than that. You're supposed to be out here making moves so that you can come back and feed your homeboys. Like I told folks before, like, like all my same friends are my friends that I grew up with. Like, it's still love. Like, we we start kicking it for a minute, but we all had to grow, and I and it's different things that we got to do. But that's still my my boys. Those are still my homeboys. It ain't me acting funny now like that. And at first, like you know, a lot of folks didn't understand what I was trying to do because I was doing it at an early age. We was doing it in our prime, early on in twenties. Like I chose to get married, but what what they didn't understand back then. Now that we in our thirties, they seeing like okay, and they seeing the moves that I'm able to make. They seeing what I'm able to do with, with my wife. They see and understand, and now they making those same type of moves because what I did and what I learned at an early age, I was able to 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 show them how like you know what's what's important. So now they hit me up and let me know like man, you know I'm proud of you. You know what I'm saying like we I appreciate you, man. You was always a little different. You wasn't no follower like you was different. So 
You know what I'm saying? Like all in all, like, like it's important to understand that growth don't always mean that it gotta be in front of people that you grew up with. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the times you're gonna you're gonna branch off, man. You're gonna you're gonna go make other moves. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like folks don't even understand. You look at situations like Dame Dash and, and, and Jay-Z. Like, that don't mean that, that they was actually friends. You got one person that's from Harlem, you got one person that's from from Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? Like, like those two different places right there. But guess what? They came together in order to make something bigger than them. And that's the importance, like, in a lot of this stuff. That don't mean that they're going to be friends forever. But guess what? They both was able to grow. They both was able to change their family lives forever by them making that one move and not just saying, oh, I got to kick it with only Harlem dudes or I got to kick it with only, only, only Brooklyn dudes. Like, whether they like each other or not, what they was able to do was actually something that was that, that, that a lot of people missed out on. It's not about who you grew up with. It's about who I can make moves with to get to my next level. And they did that, man. It's important, man. Pay attention to that, man. 55 hours a week. Y'all stay tuned. Lock in, man. Y'all make sure y'all follow. Hit that like button, man. Subscribe on YouTube. Subscribe on TikTok, on IG, on Facebook. Anything you see me on, man. Ain't nothing but real talk right here, man. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up. Let's go.